meteorologist David Keller. Schrock Innovations presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, Des Moines, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Number to join us on the program today, 888 250 Two five zero two zero nine one. All righty, folks. If you don't know who the Schrock Innovations Computer Company is, or what we do, or why you're even listening to this right now, you're just trying to get home. You know, <laughs> driving back from that that Thanksgiving weekend. You know, just trying to get back home again. Well, I'll tell you what, Schrock Innovations. We started off as a break fix computer company. Break fix means your computer's broke, and we fix it. You come in when something's broken, and then we take care of it. Uh, from that point, as technology evolved over the last 21, 22 years uh, when we've been around, we have had to change and adapt and add products and services to keep you safe and to keep your computer running the way you want it to run. We added our own data recovery lab. Uh, we have the Midwest only fully equipped data recovery center right here in Omaha, Nebraska. We, uh, we fix uh, hard drives. We, well, I shouldn't say fix because you never want to use a hard drive after it's been recovered. You know, even if it works, you don't trust it again after it fails once. Um, but we recover the data from those drives, solid states, flash drives, camera cards, all that stuff. Shoot a wedding, camera card fails. We're the people that get it back. Uh, so that's all good stuff. Then the uh, the, the next kind of area that we, we went into was web design and software development because we realized in order to provide great service to our customers, we needed custom software. We needed websites. We needed automation. We needed software. So we hired the people to build the stuff. And then while we were building it, you know, we found different ways to apply it in ways that we hadn't even anticipated, uh, which is why our systems, the systems that we use at Schrock, when you go to our website at schrockinnovations.com and order a system where you drop a computer off in the service center, we have, we have the most advanced computer repair work order system that exists in the United States uh, because we built it for ourselves. And you don't ever see that. It's under the hood. But it's what's allowing us to continue to provide award-winning service in the midst of a labor shortage. Uh, so it, it's pretty good. We don't take the people off the front lines. I had to call Best Buy the other day. We ordered a new dishwasher because, of course, the day before Thanksgiving, the dishwasher died, starts leaking out the front. The floor starts warping. And we're like, well, I guess I can't run that again. I guess I'm washing all the Thanksgiving dishes by hand because that's the uh, the deal that my wife and I have. She does the cooking and I do the cleanup. And uh, I'm very happy with that deal. I think it works out well for everybody. And she did pitch in on the dishes, and I love her for that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, we ordered a dishwasher. It was one left in stock. Of course, it really wasn't there. And now we're waiting for an undetermined date for a dishwasher to arrive at a Best Buy. Um, we ordered it from Best Buy because it was the only place in town that had one in stock, ironically, which they didn't. Um, it's a great little game you play. You have one in stock, and then it's an inventory error, but you get the order. You know, Now you have to go have someone cancel the order. Uh, you know, we went through all that stuff. You know, the supply chain is a real is a real problem right now for a lot of people. Uh, and at Schrock, it hits us the same way. And again, just like with the online system and everything else that we do, we try to keep all that under the surface so that when you come into the service center, you get the same great technology that you've always received from us. We were the only computer store that stayed open throughout the entire pandemic selling new computers. Uh, we were the only local place in town that you could go and, and pick up hardware at one point. When all the big boys were sold out, I mean, we still had inventory. Uh, it's something we really prided ourselves on. So now we're going into a supply chain crisis here. And it's nothing new. Everybody's seen it at the store, right? And the, the shelves are a little less deep than they were before. There's a few more holes. Or some stores, not, not in Nebraska or Iowa, I don't think, unless you've seen this call, give us a call and let me know, 888-250-2091. Uh, I haven't seen the cardboard on the shelves that's, that's like a picture that looks like food. But apparently on the coast, some of the shelves on the store are are filled with, you know, like when you go to a mall and there's a lot of dead space and they, they put a fake store in the window. My little, my eight-year-old girl, she's special needs. She's walking past a store in the mall and it's a bakery. And they've got these like fairy princess sparkle cookies in the picture. And she wants a cookie. And then she gets incredibly upset that the bakery is not real. <laughs> She doesn't understand. So, you know, it's like it's kind of like that at the grocery store where they put a thing on the shelf. So it looks like there's food and stuff on the shelf, but there really isn't. But it makes you feel better about the store being full. Um, so at Schrock, we got our first middle finger slapped to the face. Nothing you can do about it because it doesn't matter how good you are or how well you planned. There just ain't no more of them left anywhere. Punch this weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, the holiday special laptop is done. 
yeah, we can't get it anymore. The unibodies are gone. And I mean, I looked everywhere. I looked on eBay. I mean, I looked everywhere. Um, nobody's got them anymore. Nobody knows the replenishment date. Uh, so then I said, you know what? I'm going to the source. I'll pay a little bit more, but I'm going to go to Asus.com and buy them directly from the Asus website. Guess what? There is not a single, not one, 15-inch touchscreen laptop available on Asus.com. Unless you want to go up into their gaming models, which why would you need a touchscreen for a gaming computer? That seems so stupid. Um, but, you know, we don't want to do that because we can't sell those for, you know, fifteen ninety nine because they start off at $2,000. Every single computer they have in a 15, then I, th- I said, you know what? A lot of people wouldn't mind a 17-inch screen. Let's take a look at the 17s. Maybe we can find a replacement model with a 17-inch screen. Nope. They're all sold out on Asus.com which is probably why all of our wholesalers are like, we don't know when we're getting more because Asus doesn't have any more. So I don't know. And no one says, are they on a boat? Are they going to get offloaded? What's going on? Nobody knows. It's like my dishwasher, except they just tell you they don't have any. In fact, they didn't. Uh, funny story. I'll, so I'll tell you more about this during the aftershock that we do after the show. Uh, but I had over $42,000 of holiday special laptop orders canceled this weekend. Yep, I kept ordering them from places, and they kept trying to ship them and realized, oh, poo, we don't have... Now, I get it. Like, Best Buy is off by one, okay? I could see that in inventory. Like, you can make a mistake. Something didn't get counted. You're off by one. You you said you had one in stock. You have none in stock. I could see that. But when I order 28 holiday special laptops that you say you have in stock, I mean, are you you ordering them when I order them? You know... (laughs) It's a, is that, are they not actually in stock, but it's like a virtual inventory, a just-in-time system, uh, which I think is what it was because every single one of those orders I placed got canceled, which is fun because, you know, that's – you think you got the problem solved. I stopped texting my guys to celebrate. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything until these actually have a tracking number on them. And thank goodness I didn't because I would have sent a lot of really stupid texts. So as I mentioned earlier, we didn't get where we are today by just accepting – negative things and not trying to do anything about them. So you know what we did? We said, okay, we can't get the Asus laptop. There's nothing that we can do to get that Asus unibody. But we know that Asus makes the hardware that goes into Dells and Asus makes the hardware that goes into HPs. So by any chance, is there a identical, very similar system in an HP or a Dell that we might be able to locate? And lo and behold, there is, and I don't have a tracking number yet, but they haven't canceled the order yet either. <laughs> um, but we believe we've found uh, an HP unit. It literally looks like the holiday special laptop. It's silver instead of dark gray. Um, the 10 key pad, the key, the, the key, the zero key on the 10 key pad is configured a little bit differently. It's more where you would expect it on a, tr- a traditional keyboard. Whereas Asus moves the zero key over a little bit. If you have one of our holiday special laptops, you might see that on the 10 key pad. Um, but otherwise it's all the same backlit keyboard, uh, great processor, i7, 15-inch uh, touchscreen. It's got all the same ports on the side, literally the same ports, the same Wi-Fi adapter. It's the same laptop in a different shell. A different, sh- But the shell is, all, is, is just as light, same battery. I mean, literally, it's the same computer. Um, and so I found a honey hole, though, supposedly, and I, I put a test order of 10 in because you see what ends up happening is, you know, I don't have unlimited funds to order with. And when I start ordering stuff and I, you know, I put, you know, 20,000 here, 20,000 there, and then they cancel the orders. You ever do that where someone cancels your order, but you gave them a credit card and they cancel the order. And then it takes like five days for the money to show back up on your credit card. Yeah. Start doing that 20 grand at a time and see what you, where you end up with how much money you have left over. So it was a, it was a very interesting Thanksgiving day weekend. Uh, we do have enough holiday special laptops to fill the existing orders. Uh, I believe we have, uh, I think the website says we're on back order right now because unlike Best Buy, we do it the other way around. The website's programmed to have two less than we actually have in the store because it is possible for someone to buy one in the store at the same time someone is buying one on the website, resulting in a double sale. That can happen. So the website will allow you to back order holiday special laptops later on this afternoon. As soon as we get a tracking number, we're going to update the website with the new pictures. Now, they won't be the lovely Kimberly's pictures, the beautiful pictures on the holiday background. She will get those done for us. But obviously, we're just ordering these right now. 
So we don't have them to take a picture of yet. So it's just the stock photos from HP that we're going to have up on the site. But we will get it all holidayed up for you right quick when we get them in stock. And I ordered 10. Like Keep it nice and small order. Make sure we get them. And then we'll go forward from there. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, if you are considering a holiday special laptop, um, I'm going to throw this out there. We sold all of Asus's laptops. Yeah, we were ordering that many at a time. We sold everything that they had in the entire pipeline. Now, I'm sure other people here and there bought one. I'm not saying we, we bought them all. But what I'm saying is they went out of stock instantaneously everywhere at the same time. Now we found an identical laptop, feature-wise, slightly better in a couple minor ways, like zero key on the keyboard, things like that. How long do you think that's going to last? Maybe I should have ordered 20 or 30 or 40. But I'm being safe and ordering 10, and I might regret it later, but I'll order 10 and see how it goes. So if you are thinking about a holiday special laptop, even though the website says they are on back order, we do have more coming. And of course, if we can't get a laptop that you order, we're going to give you a refund and we're going to be straight with you if, if we if we have options. Or if, you know, That's what we do. We solve problems. You know, you're not going to have... Okay, I called Best Buy. And so now Best Buy, whenever you call the local store, you can Google the local store's phone number, but the local store sends you to a national call center. The national call center is a computer. And the computer tells you all about the store that it, it tries to geo-target your phone number and tell you all about the store that's not the store you're interested in. And because the store that had the dishwasher was not the one closest to me. And and then you have to go through all the menus twice, three times, four times. Then you have to get to the point, do you want to talk to someone in the store? Yes. Which store do you want to talk to? And you have to say like next store or previous store over and over and over till you get to your store. Then it'll transfer you. And then the phone rang, no joke, for 22 minutes before somebody picked it up. Now, I get it. I was calling on Black Friday, so I was not upset about it. These guys are getting their bells rung probably. Um, interesting Black Friday stuff, and we'll talk about this on the Aftershock. It was a very different experience depending on where you went on Black Friday. The lovely Kimberly and I, every Friday is date day. We go out and we do something. And like I said, we don't let the world get in the way. During COVID, we had date day, Friday night. If we were sitting in the parking lot in our car outside of P.F. Chang's eating Chinese on the dashboard, we had date day. <laughs> we don't let life get in the way. And so we went out for date day when we we're going to do a little shopping. She had some things she wanted to pick up. Uh, we started off at Oakview Mall, and then we saw the Outlet Mall. And I have to tell you, the difference was stark. Uh, Oakview Mall in Omaha was dead, like dead like it wasn't open, dead. Like there were more employees at the Estee Lauder counter than there were shoppers in the entire mall, dead. The Outlet Mall tried to go there. We didn't even go in. We drove right, right on past it. Turned around on the interstate and went back home because there was a line to get in and a line to get out. And I could not from the interstate spot a single open parking spot in that parking lot as we drove by it, you know, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. We could have just parked on the shoulder of the interstate and walked down the embankment and probably got in faster than going through the actual line to get to the store. There's a little fence there, but I'll, I'll help my wife over. It'll be fine. It's date day. Be a gentleman. 888-250-2091. That's the number to uh, join us on the program today. And of course, when you call into the show, we put you in the drawing. At the end of the program, we draw a name. One lucky person wins a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate that you can use toward anything in the service center. Saw one get used last week in Papillion. So they do get they do get sent. They do get redeemed. It's a real deal. You get 25 bucks just for calling the show, asking any question or making a comment. And I want to preface this because... It seems like lately a lot of the questions that we get have, have been like complex questions, right? And that can lead people to uh, like, oh, well, to, to, how, do my, how do I configure my VPN, you know, or things like that. The questions that we get in the service center, guys, are the same questions over and over and over, phrased differently, applied to different situations, same questions. Everybody's got the same questions. So if you have a question, there is a strong likelihood that everybody else listening has the exact same question you do or would benefit from that question. So don't hesitate to call. There's no such thing as a silly question. You're not going to get made fun of or laughed at or anything like that for calling in here and asking something that you need the answer to. So I would encourage you to give us a call. If you do have your computer questions, we're happy to help you out at 888-250-2091. So last week, if you missed the show, 
Uh, it was a good one. It's available at schrockinnovations.com. You can go there on the website, click on the radio show tab, and all the previous shows, the video from the shows, as well as the after Schrocks are all available there for you to listen to. Now, one of the things that I will mention is we are streaming live right now at facebook.com slash Innovations. So you can check that out if you'd like to uh, watch the program. You're welcome to do that. Uh, we'd love to have you there in the uh, in Schrockville, as you, if it will, or as you would. So uh, if you want to join us there, you're welcome. Otherwise, if you uh, just want to listen on Terrestrial, that's perfectly fine too. Just want to listen on iHeart, that's perfectly fine too. <laughs> We're here for you. But you can find all the previous week's shows there at schrockinnovations.com. Now, last week on the program, uh, we told you how Microsoft was planning to push Windows 11 on more compatible computers. It's getting super insistent on computers that can run it that you really, really should do this. Should you really do it? There's nothing wrong with it. It works pretty well. Uh, Ford, we told you about Ford taking its own steps, opening up their own chip foundries, trying to make the chips so they can build my F-150. Um, still don't have that one, by the way. Excited about the generator in the back, though. It could be fun. Uh, Intuit is killing the desktop version of QuickBooks. We told you about that last week on the program. If you run QuickBooks on a local computer, those days are over or coming to a close soon. And so you're going to have to transition to the online version of QuickBooks instead, the subscription-based version, of course. Um, and, of course, we told you a lot about the holiday special and, of course, that Windows 2.1 H2, Windows 10, version 2.1, 2021 H2, half 2. That big update has been released. So if you purchased safe upgrade software, please do run that software. It is time to do so. We send all kinds of alerts up to everybody. But everybody should have got the memo on that well before Thanksgiving. Uh, but if you have not done that, it's been a week or two now, it's time to run that. Uh, make sure you get your Windows 10 updated. Coming up on the program today, supply chain issues, of course, impacted the holiday special. We told you a little bit about that already. Uh, how to avoid scam calls. Now, this is something that literally hits everybody. Everybody gets these scam phone calls where people are trying to scam you out of money by telling you you have a computer problem that you really don't have. So I want to dedicate an entire segment to talking about this because we're seeing more and more people, one or two a day per service center, come in and tell us that they're getting scammed. And it's not fun. We had a really bad one in Papillion I'm going to tell you about. How, how do you lose $83,000 over three years to, to, to phone scammers? I'm going to tell you how coming up on the program. The holiday special desktop and laptop are, of course, available for sale. I mentioned the limited availability of the laptop. However, um, the problems we had locating desktop components have been resolved, and the desktops are fully available, and uh, new parts are actually on the way with tracking numbers so that we can continue to build those and get those ready for you. So check those out over at schrockinnovations.com. You can place your order online if you prefer, or if you want to give us a call, a human being will answer the phone, unless all the human beings are busy, then the computer will answer and put you on hold for a human being to answer the phone, and a human being will answer your questions, and a human being will take your order, do anything you need, because we're big on the human being thing. It's part of service. Also, I want to talk a little bit today about e-waste. E-waste is not like a sexy, fun thing to talk about. Everyone's like, oh, ho oh, hum, here we go. And yes, this is... Yeah, everyone's talking about their carbon footprints and everything. You may or may not care about that, okay? But the e-waste problem is something that is significant. It does impact Nebraska. It does impact Iowa. And it's something we need to think about. And Schrock is doing its part or trying to do its part to, to make the problem a little less, you know, a little less intense. Um, but when I throw these numbers at you about how much e-waste we are throwing in landfills right now, it is going to stagger your brain. You don't have to be an environmentalist to say, I'm not sure that's a good idea to throw you know, cad that much cadmium near the groundwater. That probably isn't. A, yeah, it's got a liner. It's got a liner. It'll be fine. It's like, you know, it's like if you're going to take a Ziploc bag full of cooking oil and you're going to toss it across the room because it's in a Ziploc. It'll be fine. It's kind of like that. You just, it's not going to end well. It could end well, but there's also a very good possibility it won't eventually. Uh, if you throw it enough times, you're going to have a problem. So we're going to tell you about what you can do. And it's not like, you know, you can unplug your chargers from your wall so they use less power. You know, No, it's not like that. This is real simple things that you can do that will help keep those electronics out of the landfill. Get those, that, that get those rare earth elements, the gold, the silver, all that stuff out of the electronics so they can be recycled into new electronics rather than mining all that stuff again or, imp more importantly, importing it from China. There's a lot that we can do. Remember the scrap metal drives for World War II? Well, I guess I don't remember them. I wasn't around for that. But 
I've, I've seen the, the little picture of the kid with his little wagon and the Boy Scouts going around collecting scrap metal. This is kind of like that, but it's electronics, and we're not at war yet. Uh, 888-250-2091. Bonnie Scott, stay on the line. Your call is coming up next on Compute This. Now you can configure and purchase laptops, desktops, tablets, and more, all at the new Shrockinnovations.com. Check out our specials for one-of-a-kind discounts and deals. In 1798, Eli Whitney's Connecticut Musket Factory was the first business in North America to use replaceable parts in a firearm. Before Eli's factory, if your musket broke, you had to send it away to an expert gunsmith for repairs or just toss it and buy a new musket. Technology manufacturing has come a long way since the 18th century, but you wouldn't know it by looking at today's big box store computers. Dell, HP, Sony, and other manufacturers continue to take away your freedom to upgrade and repair your computer by eliminating expansion and repair options. Some desktops are even powered by a tiny laptop adapter. Schrock Innovations believes in Eli Whitney's idea of interchangeable and replaceable components, and that's why our custom-built modular computers last longer and cost less to repair than computers computers you see at big box stores. Ask your friends and family how often they replace their box store computers and they'll probably tell you every couple of years. And what do they do with the old machines? They just get thrown out like broken muskets. Imagine a place where your computer's problems can be fixed quickly and inexpensively. Imagine keeping your computer for six years or more. You are imagining the kind of computers we build every day at Schrock Innovations. Our modular systems last longer, perform faster, and cost less over the long term than anything you can buy at a big box store. While the talented technicians at Schrock Innovations can't make you a musket even if they tried, our commitment to the freedom offered by modular computers is the modern-day extension of Eli's innovative musket factory. We think Eli Whitney would be proud, and you can take pride in owning a small piece of American innovation, the modular computer from Schrock Innovations. Compute this pro tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like Drive Advisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This with the intense bumper music that can only be the hallmark of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Wow, this is some heavy metal pumping Sunday morning stuff here. 888 250 2091. 888 250 That's the number to join us, and that's what Bonnie has done. Bonnie, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Okay, I disagree with something you said last week right. on your program. Okay. You said, and I quote, everyone has a smartphone in their pocket. Okay. That's my pet peeve. Yep. Everyone does not have a smartphone in their pocket. That's people very true. Just, there are people that don't have a smartphone in their pocket, but every day it gets closer. It's, it's me, and I have no intention of getting one. <laughs> and any time someone just assumes I have a smartphone, I about go wild. <laughs> yeah, it's got to get frustrating. I mean, because so many things now require an app. Like, if you don't have the app, you just, you don't, you can't do it. Well, then I'm not doing it. Like two-factor authentication, for example. You can't, you can't enable two-factor authentication on a Facebook account or a Google account. So you're much more likely to get scammed or uh, to have somebody steal your account credentials or log into your accounts without you knowing about it. You know, my philosophy, I'm 74 years old. Yep. I've had cancer. I have cancer. I don't wow. care. <laughs> I don't care about that. You know, when you, when you have, have those events in life, it really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Like yes, the things that I, matter and the things that don't. I've got your antivirus thing on my computer and everything like that, so I feel relatively safe. 
Gotcha. Well, that way. If there's ever any, and that's fine. You know, people call in and they disagree. I don't have a problem with people disagreeing, but you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I was probably speaking a little tongue in cheek. Everybody's got a smartphone, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can say most people. Even my mom got one. You know, it's like, and she's your age. Even my mom got one. Uh, but uh-huh. she, she can't figure out how to text sometimes. She's like, the keyboard goes away, and I swipe, and I tap, and I thump on this thing, and it doesn't do anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, mom, let me show you how to open the keyboard. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, no, okay. you're absolutely right. Not everybody has a smartphone. And uh, I'm sorry that I assumed that that was the case, but that's one of the reasons why we don't get rid of the people in the service centers. We can automate more. We could. Um, maybe in the future uh-huh. we'll have to, you know, just depending on how things go. But, you know, we want to keep those people in the service center so that you can come in and know you can talk to Corby or you can talk to Zach or you can talk to Trenton or Parker. And, and those people know you and they can help you with your stuff. And so even if you yeah. don't have a smartphone, why would you? We're a company that asks people with failing technology to come to us so we can help them. Why would we make that help technology dependent? <laughs> It's like yeah. there's a power outage. Um, we'll fix your television, ma'am. You know, <laughs> like uh-huh, no, yeah. No, I don't think so. so uh, okay. Well, I appreciate you taking my call. No problem, Bonnie. Thank you for taking the time to call in. I appreciate it. And Bonnie's in the drawing for the twenty-five dollars Schrock Innovations gift certificate as well. All right. So real quick, we're getting tons of calls in the service centers. Like I said, a couple every day from people who are scammed, who are getting scammed. We had a gentleman come into the Papillion Service Center that told us. He had been scammed out of $83,000 over a three-year period before he figured out he was getting scammed. I was like, what? The guys told me about this. And I was, in the, I was up in the service center when he came in. So I did see him come in and I saw a very animated conversation. In fact, I asked my senior technician, is there a problem at the front desk that you might want to go up there and take a look at what's going on? And he's like, no, no, he's just telling us a story. I'm like, okay. Well, the story was he got scammed out of eighty-three grand over three years. I don't even know what he bought. Like, what do you buy for eighty-three thousand? But they just kept calling him back because once they found a mark, once they found a guy that 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 they they knew they could take advantage of, they just kept going back to the well. So, oh yeah, your uh, uh, your computer's IP address is infected, and we need to clean it up. And they remote in and they clean it up. Oh, you want a lifetime license to super secure antivirus, which is just fake antivirus, and he pays for that. Um, you know, and every year he gets renewals for this and that and the other and their subscriptions and, you know, service plans and things. And they they call him and they, they called and do my maintenance. But every time they did maintenance, they found something else wrong that needed to be fixed. Imagine that. $83,000 over three years. So first of all, sir, I am honored to have you as a Schrock Innovations customer at this point. Um, you will not spend $83,000 with us over three years. Um, however, if you do seem to like any of our products or services, we would love your business. Um, number two. How does something like that happen? And the answer is these people that call are extremely convincing. They're going to tell you. They're going to assume things. They're going to ask you questions. They're going to make assumptions based on your answer. So here's the thing. Anybody who calls you to fix a problem that you don't know you have is a scam. So if you initiate – so for example, Schrock Innovation sends you a robocall about 21H2 because you've purchased the software and it's time to install it. That's not a scam. If Schrock Innovations calls you and says, sir, your monitor is infected with a virus that could cause your computer uh, identity theft and, you know, uh, you know, Taco Bell. We need to <laughs> we need to fix it right now. Can we remote into your computer? It'll only cost you four thousand dollars. That's a scam. And uh, four thousand dollars. I'm kind of being tongue in cheek here a little bit, especially the Taco Bell part. But they usually get you for four hundred bucks plus on a single call. That's not a shock ticket total. Like we're like half of that average for a visit. Um, And that's if we fix a lot of stuff. Um, These guys are fixing a problem that you don't even know you have. We we joked in the service center. We could randomly call people out of the phone book, if that's still a thing. And nine out of 10 of them would actually have a real problem that we would need to fix. But we would really fix the problem. Think about how much money we could make if we just became phone scammers. That Phone scammers for good, you know. (laughs) It's like, and of course we wouldn't do that. But, you know, the, the point here is, guys, when people call you and I get probably seven or eight calls a day now that are the potentially spam or trying to sell me something or solicit something, even though I'm on the do not call registry, all those things. If that's you, if you get those calls, if you ever have a doubt about anything with your computer, 
you can call us at Schrock Innovations. And just like here on the radio show, if we can answer your question in two minutes or less, we answer it for free. There's no charge. We don't, we don't open a work order or a ticket or anything. You know, we, you don't have to give us a credit card number. We just answer the question. So if you call us and say, I got a phone call from Microsoft, we're going to immediately stop you and say it's a scam because Microsoft don't call people. Well, I chatted with them a while back. No, you didn't. You, you, <laughs> you didn't. Um, are you sure about that, sir? Yeah, I'm very sure about that. Um, Microsoft does not call you to tell you about a problem with your Windows Defender software. That doesn't happen. That's a scam. Um, when you get a router and you're having trouble hooking it up and you dial the 800 number, but you misdial it by one digit and you get the tech support helpline, that's a scam. But you called them, right? You dialed the number wrong. It's a scam. They shouldn't be asking you for money to troubleshoot a product that you just bought. So it's a scam. So, you know, anytime that anyone related to your technology is asking for you for money, a couple things. Number one, if you are in, if you're of the years where you, maybe you don't understand how the stuff works, or maybe you don't, uh, you don't want to understand how it works. If you have children, grandchildren that you can call and run things through, please do that. If you don't, or if you would rather, you know, not appear to them to be running things through them all the time, call us. And we will tell you whether or not it's a scam. We're not going to try to sell you anything on the phone. We're not going to try to, you know, remote into your computer to check anything. But this guy who came into the service center, he had one of the worst remote access Trojans we have ever seen. I mean, it took three or four days to get this thing off the computer. And that was with senior techs working on it at that point. Because whenever something stays in there that long, we get a little concerned that, you know, we got to get people their babies back. You know, we can't keep them in here. It's people's lives. Um, so please take a moment to give us a call. You know, if it's important, you can call them back. You can get a phone number. You can ask them to call you back in 15 minutes, but give us a call and run it past us and we'll tell you whether or not it's a scam. It's almost always 99% of the time a scam. So number to join us on the program in case you have one you want to ask me about right now is 888-250-2091. Ran a little bit long. Got to take our bottom of the hour break. Stay with us because when we come back, we're going to take Scott's call. Also, the holiday special desktop and laptop. I mentioned at the start of the program, the laptop had some availability issues. We'll go over that really briefly again. But what is the holiday special desktop? We always talk about the laptop, but we never talk about the desktop really. Why would you go desktop when you can get a nice laptop? We're going to tell you what's special about it coming up next on Compute This. Today's fragile computers need maintenance more than ever. Your computer needs a maintenance checkup every six months to last beyond its 18-month expected lifespan. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or knows someone who has. When you think about it, you have a lot more data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit. Have you downloaded those videos from your phone, backed up the pictures on your iPad, or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive? Most people just don't back up their stuff. And that's why Schrock Innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the Midwest. Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute This Pro Tip 578. Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires a repair and that cost is 50% or more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid-state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Fox News, I'm Karen McHugh. 
Trying to contain the spread of the new Omicron variant of COVID-19 may not be so easy. Infections are spreading, reaching Europe and Australia. President Biden's travel ban to and from South Africa and seven neighboring nations will begin tomorrow. While the Omicron variant has yet to be officially detected in the United States, researchers believe that its heightened ability to enter human cells means that the variant is likely already here. Fox's Alexandria Hoff. A 26-year-old man survived a flight from Guatemala to Miami while stowed away in the plane's landing gear. This all happened Saturday when the American Airlines ground crew caught the man who authorities say was trying to sneak into the U.S. Once he was caught, he was pulled down and surrounded by first responders and Miami-Dade police and surprisingly appeared to be unharmed. Franklin White of WSVN Fox Miami. America is listening to Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. Partly cloudy and chilly overnight with light winds, lows around 28 degrees. Partly sunny on Sunday, a light southwest breeze, highs around 50. Gusty winds on Monday, mostly sunny, warmer with a high of 67, cooling slightly Tuesday with a high of 56. With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist David Keller. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with four locations. That's right, physical places where you can go and buy physical things. Perfect for those people who don't have smartphones. I love you. I'm just giving you a hard time. Number to join us on the program this morning is 888-250-2091. We have a location in Lincoln just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road in Omaha, 168th and Burke, across the street from the Village Point Mall, across the street from Best Buy, actually. In Papillion, 84th and Highway 370 in the Midlands Place Shopping Center. And, of course, in West Des Moines, Iowa, Schrock Innovations at 9500 University Avenue. 888-250-2091. Scott, thanks for hanging on the line there. How can I help you today on Compute This? Hey, Thor. Thanks for taking my question. No sweat. Uh, I do it. I do a lot of video work, <clears throat> so uh, I use up a lot of space, and I'm looking to have a computer built okay. uh, for backup that has about 30 to 50 terabytes. Okay. What, what kind of, is, is that the best route versus like a NOS setup to have that set up, and then, and then do you need to have a RAID set up in that computer? Gotcha. Back in the day, you really needed to, but now we have uh, 16 and 18 and 20 terabyte rotating hard drives. Uh, the 20 terabyte ones are actually filled with helium and sealed to keep them cool. Um, so, you know, the, the biggest thing that you have concerns with video stuff, it's obviously if you're doing that level of video work, a backup is the biggest concern for you. Um, you know, after what yeah. happened to me with my, uh, it was just my stupid radio station laptop, the hard drive just up and died. The C drive just whoop. It was a solid state. Brian's uh, working on recovering it for me just because I want my OBS studio settings back because the green screen on my video looks a little, I don't know, gray. And uh, my previous settings were tweaked over years, and I just want the settings back. <laughs> and so he's trying to recover that for me. Now, it's nice when you own the data recovery lab. Most people wouldn't pay the, the you know, $1,400 it would take to get that back if, <laughs> if you didn't own the lab. But, um, but it certainly made me go home and say, you know, if that happened to my main computer, like I have a file history backup, but I don't have like an image. I'm gonna go get an image. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a backup of a backup here because <laughs> I, I want a cold storage backup too because I don't have one of those. And if in case I would ever get hit with ransomware or something stupid, I want to have that backup. Um, so backups are pretty important. So if I was building you a computer to do this, um, pretty straightforward stuff. If you needed 30 terabytes, uh, what we could do is we could put in. You know, when you say 30 terabytes, is that 30 terabytes total, or do you need a single 30 terabyte drive? Uh, no, uh, 30 to 50 total. I've got about 20 to 25 video right now, so I really need to be at okay. 40 mi probably minimum. So a couple a couple uh, 20 terabyte hard drives. And so what you would do, we'd build you a computer with four 20 terabyte hard drives in it. Um, two of the 20 terabytes would be for actual data storage. The other two would back those up. And so okay. that yeah. way you, you would have a backup. There's no need to get complex with a, with a RAID array or anything like that. In fact, it just increases the odds of failure. A lot of people have the belief that RAID and you know, NAS boxes and RAID actually um, make you less likely to have a hard drive failure. But let's just say if you have a hard drive, and let's just keep the math easy, let's say it has a 10% chance of failure every year. So the solution here is to obviously put four hard drives in a box and make them interdependent so that if 
if one of them fails, you're okay. But if two of them fail, you're not okay. We'll put a little light on there that blinks if one of them goes bad um, to let you know it needs some attention. Um, wow. When's the last time you looked at the light on your backup drive? Just checking. Um, so what ends up happening in the data recovery lab is every year you have four drives and each of those drives has a 10% chance of failing. So you have just exponentially increased the odds that your NAS box is going to experience a failure in any, any given year. And then if you don't see the yeah. blinky light, a second drive fails and now you're in my data recovery lab. But instead of, you know, a normal $400 to $1,400 recovery, it's a NAS box. So we have to recover multiple hard drives. So now it's like 1,400 per drive. You know, it, it gets to be it gets to be stupid. Um, so you don't want to introduce that level of complexity unless you need it. Now, if you wanted a single drive that was 120 terabytes or something, or excuse me, 100, yeah, 120 terabytes or something crazy like that, then yes, we would create a, a NAS box or a RAID array to do that for you because uh, that's the only way to do that. But now with the technology, we can go ahead and put, uh, you know, four, four of those hard drives in a computer, put a couple fans on them, keep them nice and cool, um, and it's no stress for the computer. I mean, I have a computer at home that literally has 20, I'm out of letters. It has 26 drives hooked up to it. I don't know what happens if I plug another one in. Do I get like AA, BB? A1, B1, I don't know. I'm going to go home today and find out because now I'm curious. Uh, I've never tried to plug in that 27th drive before. But, uh, but it goes without saying, you know, we can build you something that will solve that problem for you. Also, the other thing to consider, too, if you're doing a lot of video editing, the main hard drive on your computer should be a solid-state drive. The prices of the larger solid-state drives have come down significantly over the last two years. Uh, so you, we can put a 2-terabyte or a 4-terabyte solid-state drive for you to use as a scratch drive which is going to make your rendering phenomenally fast. Uh, and then, of course, the, the rotating drives would be where you would store your finished product or, or any other stuff that you're not immediately working on. But having all of the, the components of a video you're rendering on the scratch drive and having that drive be a, a fourth-gen solid state, it makes video rendering a dream. And I use, I use Mac, so I, I would have Mac on that scratch drive as the OS. Yeah, yeah, we can put a four terabyte. I, I have to double check the four terabyte. I don't know. I've never sold a four terabyte for a Mac before. Um, but if you have a Mac that has a replaceable hard drive, because uh, a lot of them are built into the motherboard now, but if it has a replaceable hard drive, then I know we can get a two terabyte for sure. Um, but yeah, we can we can definitely do that. So what we would do is in this case we would probably get a quad box for the for the hard drives, and then have them each like it'd be like a NAS box, but uh, it would be individual drives inside the box they would not be interconnected if that makes sense yeah and then what and then what do you recommend for drives uh for longevity and then also what what location is best and who to go talk to of your locations gotcha where are you located lincoln okay well then i would recommend the lincoln service center uh <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, okay. all of our guys are good to go on this stuff. And I'll shoot them a message that I got a call from somebody uh, on the radio show about. And they listen to the show, too, uh, during the week in the service center to make sure they're up on everything. Um, but uh, but no, we can definitely build it for you in Lincoln. It's not a big deal there. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the other question that you had? You had. Oh, what would I recommend for the brand? Uh, would, yeah, type of drive for longevity. So uh, uh, so like I've got a five terabyte. Uh, portable drive that just went out. <laughs> yeah, and I just bought it a year ago. Yeah, the, the portable drives are, are atrocious. Any anything that you can pick up in your hand and move around, the odds of failure are astronomical. That's almost all of what we do in the data recovery lab. So you should never use an external hard drive for primary storage. A lot of people with Apple yeah. products do this because it's difficult to upgrade Apple's storage. Apple does that on purpose, so you buy more storage when you buy the computer. So. Having a, uh, a portable drive as primary storage, you need a second portable drive to back that one up. So it gets to be, again, it gets yeah. to be stupid. Um, that's why I said when you told me you had a Mac, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, we're not putting this in a case where this is probably uh, an iMac or a Mac or a, like a MacBook or a MacBook Pro or something like that. We're going to be using a USB interface. Um, and then, you know, that changes the type of hard drive. So we can do it. It just changes everything. Now, as far as brand, um, any of the... When you start to get up to 20 terabytes, uh, I like to buy data center drives. Data center drives are typically slower. They're 5,400 RPM or 4,500 RPM, um, but they run cooler, and they're intended for data center use. They're intended to last years and years and years in a data center under constant activity. You're not going to give it constant activity, so it should last even longer for you. With that said, there is no crystal ball. Drives fail. 
big drives fail. And when big drives fail, it's not fun to recover them. That's why you definitely want a backup. Um, because a 20 terabyte drive to run through the data recovery lab could cost four times the amount of a one terabyte drive, just because, of, especially if it's full, because of the amount of data we'd have to recover from it. So uh, we definitely, I would recommend either uh, Western Digital or um, Seagate. Toshiba is going to be a, a, ch- a cheaper option. They're not bad. Their data center stuff is pretty good. I wouldn't really go with a Toshiba in my my main computer for my main drive though. Um, but uh, the the Iron Horse drives are great. Uh, Western Digital Red is great. Uh, any of those would be fine for what you want to do. And then, can you can you help me understand what you were saying about the Mac? Is the Mac a different setup that? Oh yeah, it doesn't work as well. It's not that it doesn't work as well. In fact, um, you know, people who love Mac will tell you that there is nothing better uh, for doing what you're doing. And people who yeah. hate Mac or love PC will tell you that you can do everything you can do on a PC that you could do with a Mac, and you could do it for half the price. So, and they're both right. They're both right. Um, Apple products are the industry standard for video editing, video production. You know, if you go into a studio anywhere and start trying to produce anything, they're going to have Macs in there. Um, so if, right. if that's what you're going to do for a living, you want to learn how to do it on a Mac. Um, with that said, absolutely everything is different. The hard drive that goes into the Mac, so not all Macs have upgradable hard drives. Uh, so if you have one that has an upgradable hard drive, you have to buy a special configuration because every year that Apple made those, they made a different interface for the hard drive so that they could sell hard drives. Um, and you could, it made it difficult for you to upgrade on your own at home. So OWC is pretty much the only company out there that makes Apple-compatible hard drives. As a result, they get to dictate the price. They run about three times the cost of a PC hard drive. So they're, they're more expensive. Uh, once we get into the USB or external or Thunderbolt stuff, then it's all the same. It's not a big deal. It's just if you had a PC in a case, for example, I can just put four hard drives in a box and hook up power supplies and data cables to them, and then you've got it all good to go. But if we're hooking up to, yeah. through USB, then we need an enclosure of some kind to hold those drives. Uh, or we could build you an entire server, for example, but I don't know that you would like the, the, the speed at which it transfers over the network for video files. It would take a long time. Okay. But, but with, with the Mac setup, I'm using a MacBook Pro. I mm-hmm. can go, uh, w- what you're saying is I can go right to a box, a quad box. Yeah, or is that yeah you just hook, hook it right up to a USB port or a Thunderbolt port and you're good to go. All right, yeah. I got a rule, Scott. Thank you very much for the call. I appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Uh, real quick, uh, we got a full bank of phones here. Stephanie, Colleen, and Carol are hanging on the line. Real quick, before we take our final break, uh, I want to remind everybody, we obviously have the holiday special laptop in the service center. If you missed the start of the program, we're going to talk more about this during the aftershock, but um, we sold all of them that Asus had, literally, in the United States. I have not checked Australia yet. Um, I didn't go that far because I thought the shipping might get a little crazy. But uh, all then there could be a boat that's getting unloaded in Los Angeles right now, for all I know. For all they know, nobody knows. Um, there's 100, 111 plus cargo ships, 500, you know, half a million containers of cargo sitting off the, the coast of the United States. No one knows what's in any of them. So there could be a whole slew of these coming in a week or a month or six months. Nobody knows. And so I'm not too excited to sell people products that I don't have in stock, and I'm not too excited to sell them when I don't know if I can get them. So what we're doing is we're, we're going to fill the orders that we have for the Asus laptop, and then we're going to switch the holiday special laptop to an identically featured HP laptop that I can get for now. And uh, literally, it, it's, a, it's a tiny bit better in some ways aesthetically, like the zero key on the 10 keypads in a different place. So it's, it's a nice laptop. Uh, it's a lighter gray instead of a darker gray. That's the only difference really is the color of it. Touch screen, the whole bit, backlit keyboard, fingerprint reader. The ports on the sides are literally identical. I swear it's the same motherboard in there because <laughs> HP make, or Asus makes a lot of that stuff for HP and Dell. And so you're getting the same guts. It's just in a different branded shell, basically. Um, but it's the, it, it's the right way to do it. Now, of course, we're going to have to update the website, stuff like that. That's why it says they're on back order right now. You will get one if you order one. But the website says they're on back order because... We are switching the pictures and everything else out in real time, basically, hoping to have that done later today. Now, the Holiday Special Desktop is insane. It is the latest Ryzen 7 5700G processor, which was released literally like five months ago. Um, But the graphics on board on this chip are better than the graphics that we put on the graphics cards in the computers. So literally, this is a weird situation where the onboard Vega graphics inside the processor are actually more powerful than if you had a dedicated graphics card. You can actually game on this computer. It's insane. 
Now, 32 gigs of RAM, when most people have 8 or 12, that's insane. Um, a 1 terabyte Gen 4 solid state hard drive, yeah, that's nice. Backup drive to go with it to automatically back up with file history. So you, if you do have a solid state crash like what happened to me on the radio show, your files are all backed up. Yeah, that's nice. Comes with a DVD drive still because you want it. I don't know why you want it, but you want it. We had somebody somebody commented on Facebook, ew, a DVD drive still? Get rid of that thing. I'm like, we've been trying, but every time we get rid of it, people get mad at us, so we put it back. has a card reader as well. It's got 802.11 Wi-Fi. It's Wi-Fi 6. So it has Bluetooth for your headsets and your speakers and everything else, as well as high-powered dual antenna Wi-Fi. Comes with a 23-inch screen, a wireless keyboard and mouse, and that screen is an eye care screen. So it's blue light blocking, which most of your... Right now, you buy whatever monitor you can find, and you'll like it. Yes, thank you very much. Um, that's how the world works right now. That's why we're selling so many monitors at Schrock and so many computers and so much hardware. Nobody has anything. The monitors that we're holding back for the holiday specials are special monitors. They are blue light blocking monitors that you really can't buy anymore. We bought them all months ago at very reasonable prices. Now you can't get one for less than like 300 bucks because they're in shortage and everybody wants them for the holidays. Well, you get one with the holiday special desktop. All that for $15.99 in stock in all of the service centers. So if you're interested in that, you can order on our website at schrockinnovations.com, either model, or you can visit the service centers, any of the four that I mentioned at the start of the program. We're happy to take your order, help you out, and get that computer into your hands before the holiday season here so that you can have it to give as a gift or to use for yourself. Also, I want to throw a shout out to businesses out there. Um, if you're looking to, <clears throat> how do I say this delicately? If you had a great year and you're a little concerned about tax season, a great expense that benefits your company over a 10 year period is a holiday special computer. We have lots of companies that come in and try to buy these in quantity. Um, and so we're a little hesitant with quantities this year because we're like, mm, I don't know how many we can get. But if your company needs to buy computers, if you need to move some money out because you had a great year, computers are a great way to do it that also improve the productivity in future years so you can do even better next year. So just something to consider out there. If you're a business, the holiday special laptop and desktop are great things that you can give to your employees that they will love at work. Computers that work well are loved by employees. It makes their job easier, makes better to do, helps retain employees and makes them more productive. All right, we're going to take our final break of the program here, and then we're going to hit these phones. Stephanie, Colleen, Carol, your calls next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations can't teleport technicians to you, but online help is only a click away with the Schrock Desk. Subscribe today and get unlimited help whenever you need it. Remember the good old days when virus detection worked like, where's Waldo? Spot the virus in the striped shirt and you win! Today's infections are changing hourly to avoid detection and use social engineering to trick you into making mistakes. Using yesterday's security to defend against today's threats is like using leeches to stop an infection. It just doesn't work. We recommend Sophos Intercept X, antivirus backed by Schrock's virus-free guarantee. Sophos uses the power of AI to detect the patterns of a virus attack and responds with Schrock's custom actions that stop it fast. With Sophos on your PC, Mac, Android, or iOS device, you get the state-of-the-art protection you need to defend against the most advanced attacks out there. In fact, if your device gets a virus while running Sophos Antivirus, Schrock will remove it for free, guaranteed. It hasn't happened yet, and we intend to keep it that way. Ditch your dad's antivirus and keep your device, data, and identity safe with Sophos and Schrock Innovations. Compute this pro tip 178. Those little life-saving surge protector strips are vital to your computer's health and should be used whenever possible, even for laptops. As computers get smaller and more powerful, they're also becoming more sensitive to dirty power, and your power is a lot dirtier than you might think. Even if you have a whole home surge protection, most power surges are generated within your own home. If you've ever vacuumed and seen the lights get dimmer and brighter, you created a surge. Surge protectors can only absorb so much energy measured in joules. When that capacity is exhausted, your surge protector becomes a glorified extension cord and needs to be replaced. You should always look for surge protectors that give audible alerts when they're no longer able to protect your equipment. Schrock recommends these because the lights on most strips are just power lights and they don't tell you when it's time to replace the unit. If in doubt, replace your surge protectors annually to keep your expensive TVs, computers, and other electronic equipment safe. 
This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks. Welcome back in. Final segment of the program. Let's jump into those phones. We're on the clock here. Stephanie, how can I help you today on Compute This? I have a question about secure up data. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was just looking at it, and one of the, my Google Chrome, the installed version doesn't match the current version. Okay, is the installed version lower or higher? It's, it's uh, lower. The installed well, version I, is lower than the current version? The installed version is 4.664.45. Okay. The current version is 4.6839. The installed version is, starts with the 96. The current version starts with the 95. Okay, I'm checking mine here right now. You said there was Chrome? Google Chrome. Okay, G, Google Chrome. Yep, it looks like they pushed an update out overnight. And so uh, we haven't been out of bed yet. So, <laughs> oh, okay. so your Google Chrome updated automatically for you. That's why Google Chrome is actually pretty good about updating automatically. Unless you have it open, then it won't update. Uh, but yeah, you'll see that get updated here this afternoon and it'll pop back up to the 96 version as well. Okay. All right. Thanks for the call, Stephanie. I appreciate it. Colleen, you're next up on the show. How can I help you uncompute this? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I got an email uh, from AOL, security notice for your AOL account. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, just in case you missed our prior emails, which I swear I didn't get any, mm -hmm. uh, we're letting you know that AOL email will no longer support third-party apps. Uh, maybe you're familiar with this, so I don't need to read the whole That's thing. Right. It maybe. makes sense. But it's telling me, yeah, but, it's, you know, I have Outlook. Okay, and uh, so it's telling me if you want to keep your non-AOL app, which I assume they're referring That's to Outlook, Outlook yeah. I have to take all these steps to go through. Well, once I get in further and get to the steps, I mean, I have no idea what they're talking about. So I don't know if you can explain this or if I bring it into the store. Can you help me with it? Uh, well, no, this is a great, what, what this is a great question, Colleen. The, this is a great thing. We'd normally use the Schrock desk for something like this, where you don't have to bring it in, and we can get connected over the Internet and help you solve this. So give us a call in one of the service centers, and we'd be happy to get you connected over the Schrock desk and help you figure this one out. All right. Thanks for the call there. I need to draw a winner of the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Today's winner is Stephanie. Congratulations. You'll get a certificate. Stay tuned for the Aftershock, where we'll cover e-waste. We didn't have time, but the calls are more important. From the Amish Furniture of Nebraska Studio, your home for made-in-the-USA furniture.